MTI TV. I'm Sam and today we're going to talk about installing luxury vinyl tile in wet environments, including showers and steam rooms. I'm joined by our business manager for floor covering installation systems, Jeff Johnson. Welcome Jeff, how are you? Thanks Sam, I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing well, thanks. So do I have this right? We have a system of products that allows you to install LVT in areas where tile or stone is traditionally used, namely in damp or wet areas where you really couldn't install LVT in the past? That is correct, Sam. The shower system for LVT systems of products are all designed to waterproof and prepare the surface and to bond and seal LVT in wet areas such as shower enclosures, tub surrounds, wet rooms, and other wet areas in both residential and commercial applications. And these systems allow you to install LVT on top of existing tile? They do, which not only opens up all the design possibilities that come with LVT, but also saves time and money on removing and replacing existing tile. That's an expense that can really add up if you're remodeling multiple bathrooms. No kidding. So how does this process start? What kind of surface prep is required to go on top of tile? To install LVT over existing tile, First, make sure that the tile installation is intact, clean, and free from any cracks or voids that might allow for water to get behind it. If you are unsure about whether or not you have a good seal, you can cover the existing tile with a coating of Mapes Mapelastic Aqua Defense. That's always good advice when it comes to waterproofing. It's always better to be safe than sorry. But we know that the installation that we will be demoing is waterproofed because the tile system that we'll be going on top of has already been waterproofed. So we'll be moving along to the next step, surface preparation. Right. Next, because LVT is resilient, it can show through substrate defects. Therefore, it is important to make sure the substrate is as smooth as possible. This can be done by skim coating the surface using Planet Prep for LVT Skim Coat and Embossing Leveler. This is a one component, pre-mixed, water-resistant compound designed to fill nail and screw holes, grout lines, or other minor defects up to a sixteenth of an inch in depth. It dries within two hours and is easily sanded to a smooth finish. Okay, so we are waterproofed and smoothed. What comes next? The next step in the process is to install the LVT using Ultrabond Eco MS for LVT wall. This is a professional grade hybrid polymer adhesive that has been specifically designed to hold LVT on a vertical surface without slippage. I've noticed that some of the LVT examples are continuous sheets and others actually mimic the look of ceramic tile and stone. So what if I want to create the look of tile and install grout lines? Can I even do that when I'm working with the shower systems for LVT? Absolutely. And this is the point at which you will determine whether or not the installation will have grout lines between the LVT pieces, or if you will simply butt the pieces of LVT tightly together to avoid any gaps. And if I do want the grout lines? If grout lines are desired, traditional grout spaces should be used to create the appropriate gap. Make sure to keep the grout lines free from any adhesive buildup to prevent show through when grouting. MAPE recommends the use of MAPE Flex Color CQ, or care epoxy CQ for this application. Grouting can be accomplished 12 to 24 hours after the LVT has been installed. When grouting, follow all the installation instructions on packaging and technical data sheets for these products. Also, make sure to remove all grout residues from the surface of the LVT, as these will be very difficult to remove once dry. We should point out that you should not use cement-based grouts. That's correct, Sam. Cement-based grouts and LVT do not mix. After the entire installation is complete and dry, with or without grout lines, it is time to apply MapaCoat for LVT, a two-component water-based aliphatic anti-slip polyurethane finish over the entire surface of the LVT. I got it. MapaCoat for LVT goes on whether or not you install grout lines. So what does it do? Think of it like a top coat or sealer. MapaCoat for LVT provides two very important functions. First, it seals the surface of the LVT, preventing water from migrating through any seams. Secondly, it also provides traction for the wet LVT. 
This is really important because LVT in general is not designed to be used in wet environments and can be very slippery. That changes with these systems. That's good to know. It is good to know. Now, not only can you save time and effort and have the designs you want, but most importantly, you can do so safely. It's a win-win-win, but you can't forget to finish off the entire system by sealing the inside corners with a matching color, high quality silicone sealant, such as Mopasil T Plus or our high performance acrylic sealant, such as Caracock. That is correct, Sam. Whether you are working in a new install or installing over existing tile, the shower system for LVT systems of high performance products let you revamp wet areas quickly and easily. You can even duplicate trendy or expensive looks at a fraction of the price. That's right. Now you can save time and money by installing LVT compared to traditional methods. Thank you, Jeff. You've given us a lot of great information today. You're welcome, Sam. Thanks for having me. For more information, give us a call at 1-800-992-6273 or drop by our website at www.mapay.com. I'm Sam. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, click the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And to make sure you don't miss the next episode, click the bell icon down below. Thanks again for watching this edition of MTI TV.